Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be talking about how the system works in the United Arab Emirates. First, we need to be aware of NIHS, which is National Institute for Health Specialities. This, in accordance with the UAE University, is the center that holds your examination. So the Emory examination is conducted by this center, the registration process, the enrollment process, the application, the examination venue, and the results will all be under this portal. Now, once you have given this examination, it's just the first step. You need to be aware of three different authorities that exist in this country. The first one is Department of Health, which is in Abu Dhabi. Then you have the Dubai Health Authority, which is in Dubai. And you have Emirates Health Services, which is also known as EHS, which is in Sharjah and the other Emirates. So when you are applying for a residency program, you are actually going to apply on any of these government portals. Now, the first thing you need to make sure before writing your Emory exam is if you fulfill the criteria that is mentioned by these bodies. This video will most likely be the recent update. But however, when you are applying for your exam, there might be updates in the system or in the application process. So you need to check the website regularly for any updates they have on it. One of the most important questions that people ask is what is the eligibility criteria to appear for this exam? This exam can be written by anyone who is either a final year medical student or a recent graduate. So how recent should he or she be? A recent graduate means a person who has graduated and completed internship and has not passed more than four or five years. Now this can depend on different government bodies you're applying to. Now, the advantage of you reviewing the criteria would make sure that you fulfill their criteria to appear for this exam and then for the residency matching process. So how to register for this exam? The registration process is very simple. There are two steps in registering for this exam. First, you log on to the portal and you go for the registration process. You create a unique email ID and password for yourself and you follow their steps. Even if you are a graduate who has graduated from uh, colleges outside United Arab Emirates, you can still appear for this exam. The registration process usually opens up in November to December. Just stay tuned to their website for these updates because they will release the current year during November or December. Once you register for the exam, you will be open for enrollment. What happens in the enrollment process is every exam has start date and an end date. So when the enrollment day starts you can start applying for this exam and you can enroll yourself a seat so that you can go and appear for this exam once your exam is done it usually takes at least a minimum of 10 days for the results to come so if for example you were to fail the first attempt you can apply for the next immediate exam now the next question is when is this exam held so the exams are usually held between December to March now during these months you have at least two exams each month and depending upon the candidates that are writing the exam, the number of examinations can differ. They can either increase the number of seats or they can increase the number of exams they take in a year to accommodate all the candidates that are applying for the residency exams. Now for more process about how to register, how to enroll, you can find it on the website itself. I hope most of the information that I have given about the MA exam is clear for you all. And if there's anything that's not clear, Put it down in the comment section if i receive any updated information regarding the residency process or application process or the examination pattern i would always put it up on my instagram story or in the highlight section you can always visit that to review it later